All right, this video is uh, a requested video. This is uh, going to talk about the two inch body lift I put on this little sandbar. Uh, I did this kit myself. Uh, I bought some parts online and sort of cobbled it together. It's actually pretty easy. There's a couple of key things, however, that uh, you need to consider when you if, you, if you want to take this on. So let's have a look. Looking underneath the truck, if you go underneath here on the back of the frame, there's two bolts that go in and thread into the box. I don't know if you can see them there, but there are two two inch spacers on there. Uh, that's what I put on there. There's those two. There's another one here. You can see it there. Moving forward, I believe there's another one here, right there. And then for the cab, I got some custom ones made. Hang on, I'll see if I can get those. Looking under the cab, that I believe is the throttle cable going up through. And that's another uh, spacer. It's actually an aluminum spacer that I got made up. Again, just two inches high. You'd be surprised what these uh, cabs are held on with. Just four very small bolts is what hold them on. But that's one there. Another thing to uh, be aware of, which is uh, probably the most difficult part, is your steering shaft. Uh, obviously, it goes down from your steering rack to your universal up into your steering column. This has to be extended two inches. So you actually have to cut it and weld it a two inch piece in. So what I did is I got this machined uh, with a little spigot, get a two inch spacer made and then weld at either end of the spacer into the shaft. Um, had a weld prep on it with some notches uh, and then welded it and then filed it all down so it's smooth so you can't see where it's been welded. In fact, I can't even remember. I think it was on the fatter part that I welded it. But uh, yeah, so you need to extend your, um, your spindle shaft, or sorry, your steering spindle. Okay, this is looking uh, in the left rear of the cab. You can just see right in here is another spacer, two inch spacer. And again, another one here on the box. But these were commercially available. You can just buy these, they're very cheap. Uh, two inch spacer and uh, just put them in place. They're not metal. These ones here are actually like a, uh, they're like a, some kind of a resin, like a hard, hard plastic. It's, it's a proper lift kit. But uh, these ones I got custom made because they were uh, the diameters. One I think is two inch diameter and the one to four is one and a half inch, uh, inch and a half story diameter because uh, there's a fairly tight fit for them to go into. Actually, that one might be the inch and a half and the forward one is two inches. I can't remember, it's been a long time. But uh, yeah, there you go. Another thing to be aware of is the fuel filler. Uh, you're gonna have to get a longer one. So this hose is not the original. I basically took a, uh, the original fuel filler hose, took it to a, a local supplier and just got some fuel filler hose that was the same diameter, same sort of shape and cut it to length. But uh, yeah, you're gonna need to extend that out. In the front of your box, where it meets the cab, there's a row of bolts. Those actually separate the box from the cab. Uh, you'll want to um, loosen those all off when you do it. I actually removed the box first. I think it's easier to remove the box, to be honest. Lift the cab, and then uh, once the cab's in place, put your blocks on the frame, put your box on, and bolt it up to your uh, the back of the box. There's no spacers required there because uh, they just they just meet a thread right into the uh, into the cab. Now, one thing that I have not done on here is if you look here, this is a threaded hole, and this is where the bolt went through. So the cab, this is the box, is sort of a cross member, and that is where the um, a bolt went through. So what you actually, I haven't done it, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but what I will be, do is make a, a metal strap that will go down, it'll have a threaded piece, the, so a bolt can thread into the bracket and the bracket will come up with a hole and then bolt into that to support that. I haven't had any issues, so I haven't been in a any kind of a panic to do it, but uh, that's another thing that you're gonna wanna consider. There is one more thing that's important. Looking at the rear, the last thing that's really important is your, your latch for your, uh, your rear engine or your hood, engine hood or tailgate, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a little aluminum block, a two inch block with longer bolts um, to extend this bracket out. Um, I have seen a guy that sells them that has a, uh, 
uh, a piece of metal that'll fill this in, fill this gap. I think that would clean it up quite nicely. I haven't gotten around to it. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. I'm happy with the way it is right now. But uh, yeah, basically that is in a nutshell what's involved in putting in a, a two inch body lift on one of these little trucks. It's not difficult. Um, you can get most of the stuff online uh, and then maybe a bit of custom stuff that you're gonna wanna make up yourself or, or have made up, but it's not difficult little bit time consuming again the big thing is that welding that steering shaft that is uh, probably the most difficult part because um, if you don't have a welder you know you're gonna have to get it get it done but uh, anyway I hope you uh, for the one person that was interested in that uh, that information I hope you liked it and maybe some of you else uh, got some info from it as well all right thanks for watching